Welcome back to Sticker Mountain. Today, we're going to show you not only how to make a sticker sheet, but how to make it in three different ways. This video shows you method number two, so follow the links in the description below to see the other two. Make sure before you watch this one to check out the first video since it shows you how to create die lines for your stickers. Let's get started. Our first step is to open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. For our example, we're creating a new file that is the size of a sheet of paper. However, we'll use the landscape orientation so that it's eight and a half inches tall and 11 inches wide. Our settings are in CMYK color mode to ensure accuracy between colors we see on the computer and when we print them. And our raster effects are set at 300 PPI. This is also important for high quality printed images. Then we press create. Next, we're going to create a custom background using another design. To do this, I'm placing a copy of our logo onto the artboard and scaling it to fill the board. Like in our last video, I'm scaling up the artboard by half an inch on all sides by adjusting the dimensions at the top of the toolbar. Next, it's time to image trace. However, this image is giving us a couple of issues with the colors when we select any of the tracing options. So to get around this issue and to have a full silhouette of this image, we'll adjust the color. To do this, make sure your image is embedded into the art file. Then go to edit, edit colors, and adjust the color balance. This brings up a dialog box to adjust colors. Turn black to 100% and you can see the changes it makes by pressing the preview button. Then click OK. Now when we click image trace, it's a lot smoother and more complete. Next click expand and double click on the image to enter isolation mode. And use the direct selection tool to delete any white background. Next click unite and offset the path once more. Play around until you get an effect that you like best that creates a big enough space that incorporates everything. With everything selected again, click Unite, and if need be, size down your outline to fit inside your artboard. Switch the fill and the stroke with Shift X, and change the color to red so it's visible. Make sure to delete any straight lines so that the laser doesn't cut something you didn't want to be cut. And that's it. I'm going to cheat here a little bit and copy the same stickers and die lines I created from the previous video. You can check that out in the description below to learn how we made these stickers. Next, arrange the stickers however you want inside your custom shaped die line. Now let's create a background for our stickers to live in. We'll do the same as before with the gradient background and sports pattern. If you want to know how to create a gradient and how to create a clipping mask, watch the previous video. But for now, we're going to create a duplicate of the custom die line you made and create a clipping mask. To do so, you select this die line and the other object, such as this pattern, and press Command 7. And now you have a beautiful background. Finally, the last step is to add our logo and we're done. Now you have your finished sticker sheet that's a custom die line. What's next? Creating your order and submitting your artwork to Sticker Mountain. It's easy. And with our quick turnaround times, you can expect to see your stickers in three, two, one. If you'd like to see our other methods for creating a sticker sheet, check out the links in the description or click our playlist here. See you next time, Yetis.